A quick note before this video properly begins, as many regular viewers will already no doubt know, my channel has been demonetized by YouTube, and so this channel is now financially reliant upon you the viewers. For those who would wish to help out and do their bit to help combat YouTube's attempts to silence and censor me, I am now both on Patreon and Subscribestar, and am asking for donations of $1 per month. Apparently some of my viewers are so generous that they have found ways to donate more than that, but every little bit helps. And $1 per month is basically a soda pop per month to help combat YouTube's attempts to silence me. I am also, by the way, on alt tech platforms such as Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble, so you may want to subscribe to me there if you haven't already. For those curious, links will be left in the description below to all of this as well as in a pinned comment. Thank you again for your time, thanks to those who have already donated, and with that said, let's get to the video itself. <laughs> Hello everyone, Ace here, and today let's talk about a recent news story that has been getting laughed at. Specifically, this article by Becky Ferreira from Vice, titled, Scientists Find Link Between Wolf Attacks and Far-Right Politics. The reemergence of wolves to Germany has been accompanied by electoral gains for far-right parties, a new study reports. Now, of course, with an article headline like that, it's very easy to see why it is getting laughed at. After all, the thought of wolf attacks turning people into radical extremists is frankly hilarious. Of course, in reality, this is the result of extremist rhetoric being pushed by publications such as Vice, trying to label everyone they don't like, i.e. everyone right of Mao, as a fascist. So the end result of publications like Vice constantly crying wolf is that people will understandably start to doubt them. That said, once you cut through all of the extremist rhetoric on the part of Vice, and also on the part of the study itself, which appears to be a leftist-leaning study anyways, there is actually something worth talking about here, although not exactly the sort of thing that the establishment or the far left would like to discuss. As a more accurate and reflective headline for this particular article would be globalist fine link between globalist policies screwing people over and more people voting for localist policies. But getting back to the article, credit where credit is due, they are in fact accurately referencing a particular scientific study, even though the people making that study seem to have some political bias of their own. But to get to the study itself, it was indeed made to see if there was a link between wolf attacks in Germany and increase in public support for a party known as the AFD. Now, I personally am no expert on German politics, so I can't really say too much about the AFD themselves. Though I will say that from what I have read, they are certainly on the right side of the political political compass, though I'm not quite sure I would go so far as to call them far-right. Getting to the actual study, though, they show that while there is an increase in political support for the AFD following wolf attacks, it is very specifically at the state level and does not really translate over to local level or federal level. This is telling because it shows that people aren't actually being ideologically indoctrinated, at least not by wolf attacks, but rather are voting in the name of policy instead and are merely choosing a party that just so happens to actually have a policy that helps with their particular issue. That issue being that wolves do actually pose a very real threat to their economic livelihoods, as well in some degrees as their physical safety. One thing that is amusing to note is that despite this study's attempts to frame concerns about wolf attacks as a far-right extremist position, the study instead seems to show why globalism is fast losing popularity among the general public. Keep in mind, the point of this study is to link concerns with wolf attacks to far-right extremists. So when the study in the very next paragraph goes on to explain that yes, wolf attacks do in fact happen, that evokes the image of establishment politicians sticking their nose up at people and telling them that they just have to accept this new reality, and that the farmers must have to make personal sacrifices in order for the ideologues who don't have to put up with this issue to feel more morally virtuous. Or at least going by the information provided by the study itself, that is at least what appears to have happened up to this point. There is, however, a punchline at the end of the story, because it turns out that the people that wrote this study ultimately have to admit 
admit that the AFD had a point about this. And not only that, but they also appeared to concede to the position that they claim that the AFD seems to support. Allow me to explain. At one point later on in the study, the scientists decided to start quoting from advertisements posted by the AFD, which said things along the lines of, quote, more biodiversity? Sure if it makes sense, but our farmers are also part of the environment, and farmers need space to live and work. In other words, if this advertisement from the AFD is accurate, then their position is that they are willing to protect the wildlife, but it has to be done in a reasonable and moderate manner, and not to the extreme that it actively screws over farmers. The reason I bring this up is that in the conclusion of this particular study, the scientists that made it end up saying, quote, mitigating wolf predation on livestock as effectively as possible and generally finding balanced coexistence policies are key to future conservation and climate protection efforts. In other words, these scientists are effectively admitting that the AFD is right about this particular policy, or at bare minimum, a failure by the more established parties to concede to the position of the AFD will result in the AFD getting more political support in the end, even if it is at just state level. This is the establishment effectively admitting that they cannot just shove whatever the hell they want down the throats of everyone else. Now again, I am not an expert on the AFD, nor am I an expert on German politics, but judging from the information that has been provided by both the news article and the study itself, that is the impression that I have gotten from this entire situation. And frankly, this, if anything, seems more like a microcosm of part of the bigger picture trend of people openly rejecting the establishment in the culture wars in general. It's important to note that environmentalism has long been pushed very specifically by the far left, as well, of course, by establishment politicians too. It's yet another wokest platform, and people are starting to reject wokeism in general. And it's not so much a case of the people rejecting wokeism becoming increasingly radicalized, ideologically speaking, so much as it is a case of wokeism increasingly impacting these people personally and doing so in an increasingly negative manner. Now, of course, for those curious, I will be leaving links in the description below to archives of both the news article and the study itself, so you can check them both out if you should so desire. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out. Oh.